click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hi guys, after learning the concept and classification of the filter, we will move further for one each type of filter. In this particular video lecture session, we will learn low pass filter technique with order of the filter and the type of transfer function. First of all, we know that what is filter? It is allowing certain values of frequency signal and restricting certain values of frequency signal. Low pass filter indicates that I am allowing to pass the signal in the device which are of low frequencies. That means allowing to pass low frequency signal and attenuating all the signals which are at higher frequencies. First of all, these are all the relative if I am taking high and low word, then these are all words are relative. Then I have to decide that relativity with respect to certain value of frequency and that value of frequency is called as cutoff frequency. So after FL, we will say signal gets attenuation. And below FL signal passed. In brief, we will draw this ideal low pass filter. This is the diagram, and where we are getting actually this is nothing but your if this is a maximum value of gain then this value at this corner frequency or in terms of filter i can say it's a cutoff frequency let's say f l at that particular value we are getting not exactly maximum value of gain this is nothing but a divided by root 2 this a divided by root 2 is not in db if we are taking in db, it is nothing but a minus 3 db. If this is a in db, then this will be your a minus 3 in db. That means I am taking the value which is less than maximum value by 3 db. This is the nature of the low pass filter. We have to learn the mathematical aspect of this low pass filter and circuital point of view of the low pass filter. First, we will learn the passive low pass filter, which includes only resistances and capacitances. Very simple. Let's have a look at this particular circuit, only one RC circuit, which gives you the idea of low pass filter one resistor which is placed in between input and output this is your input signal and this is your output signal in between c is placed so c is in shunt and r is in series between input and output i want to do the mathematical expression in the form of ratio of vo and v in that means what is the variation of the gain with respect to frequency parameter. Now, as far as frequency is concerned, only one responsible parameter is there. That is nothing but the capacitor because resistor is independent of frequency. So we will play with this. We will just apply voltage divider rule that is VDR. If we apply VDR, this first of all, we will convert it into frequency domain. For that we have to do some transformation R will be as it is R, C will become 1 upon S, C will change this, this will become R only, this will become 1 upon S, C and here we will be getting the output in the form of S, input in the form of S. Now on this particular circuit, we will apply VDR. If we apply VDR, then we will be getting this Z divided by summation of this 
impedances multiplied by total input voltage. This gives you the idea that input voltage that is total input voltage is divided into two parts. One is voltage across resistance and another is voltage across the capacitance which will act as output voltage VOS. So we can say that VO of S is equal to 1 upon SC divided by 1 upon SC plus R multiplied by V in of S. In short, we will be getting the ratio of VO to V in which is equal to gain which is equal to here in this case we will be getting nothing but 1 upon 1 plus R S C. Now we will investigate at each particular frequency high, low and at cutoff frequency what will be the value of gain in terms of dB. So if we take this as in the form of magnitude then we will be getting one is angle theta and another A will be your magnitude. This will not be acting as magnitude. If we want to have the magnitude then we will convert this into the form which is nothing but 1 upon under root of 1 plus omega square r square c square. This will be 1 upon under root of 1 plus omega square r square c square. This will be your magnitude. Now we will play with the magnitude. I know that the filter waveform is playing with magnitude in the form of y-axis and your logarithmic frequency with x-axis. So we will say a is equal to 1 upon under root of 1 plus omega square r square c square. Now we will consider each and every case. Okay. Let case A. If omega is very very less than that of the value of 1 upon RC. If omega is very very less than that of 1 upon RC then what will happen? Omega RC which is also very very less than 1. Then in that case can I neglect this particular part? Yes obviously. If omega RC is much much less than 1 that means 0 point something then their square will be much much and much less than 1. So we can easily say that omega RC the whole square which is much 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 less than 1. And now I can say that neglect omega RC from above equation. We will be getting A that is gain is equal to 1. Gain is equal to 1. Great. Now we will consider another case. Case number B will take exactly ulta if we say if omega is much 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 greater than 1 upon RC then in that case omega RC is much 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 greater than 1 omega RC square is much 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 greater than 1 now I can neglect 1 now in that case your A is equal to omega r c ka inverse. Now if we try to achieve the highest value of omega, higher and higher value of omega, that much amount of gain will reduce. So if omega increases, gain decreases and there we are playing with the word called as 
attenuation. So from case A and B, we cleared that if omega is having less value, then your gain is nearly constant value. If omega is much, much higher value, then your gain is decreasing, decreasing and decreasing. We will consider another third case. What will happen exactly at omega is equal to 1 upon RC. If you put omega is equal to 1 upon RC, then we will get to know that A will become 1 upon root 2. Now here you will get the relation between this A is equal to 1 upon root 2 and your gain at FL is equal to A divided by root 2. A is nothing but the maximum value and here my maximum value is 1, right? So in simple RC circuit, your maximum value is nothing but your 1. So this will act as a buffer if it is acting as a low pass filter. Now considering this complete facts, we will be getting omega is equal to 1 upon RC, which is called as cut off frequency. Because if we take both sides of 1 upon RC, at one side we are getting constant value of gain and at another side, at higher frequency side, the gain is reducing, reducing and reducing further. This is how we are getting the particular frequency of both sides, we are getting different value of gain. At one side, it is constant and at another side, it is decreasing, decreasing and decreasing. So we'll plot these cases in a graphical manner. Consider this as FL where omega is equal to 1 upon RC. Altogether omega and F is also frequency. Omega in radian per second and F is in hertz. Here whatever I will be getting that will be maximum divided by root 2. And here I will be getting the maximum value. Here we will take m, a m, m for maximum and a m by root 2. Case a is in this particular region where your value is nearly constant and maximum. At omega is equal to 1 upon rc, your gain is reducing but not much a divided by root 2 only. And as, because this is case number c. And here we can say that gain is reducing with the omega. So this is case number B. So all cases of that particular formula is covered and we are getting the graph which is showing that my circuit is allowing to pass the frequencies well below FL which is nothing but 1 upon RC and my circuit is not allowing to pass the signal well above the value of FL. Now here I can determine the cut off frequency, cut off frequency in hertz is FL which is equal to 1 upon 2 pi RC. So in your design, Depending on cutoff frequency, you have to design the value of R and C. And in your analysis part, you just have to calculate the value of FL, that is cutoff frequency, depending on the given value of R and C. This is how we have learned the low pass filter in passive circuit. Now what change you will be getting in your active circuit? In your passive circuit, your gain AM is equal to 1. In your active circuit, you will be getting particular finite gain that too will be designable. Now we will consider active low pass filter. No change you will be getting, derivation will be same exactly as it is, but instead of 1, you will be getting the gain which is nothing but the operational amplifier gain. 
Now here we will be getting gain VO by VI is equal to 1 plus RF upon R. Let's say this is R1 so that we can differentiate both R, R1 multiplied by 1 upon 1 plus j omega r c now here multiplied by v in here we will be getting the value of this particular voltage v a is equal to this value and we know that v a multiplied by this gain factor is nothing but output voltage so even though frequency omega is equal to 0 we are not getting the value of gain is equal to 1 rather than that whatever value of non-inverting configuration ka amplifier is nothing but your value of the maximum gain so your maximum gain is enhanced by 1 plus rf upon r1 so with this we got the maximum value of gain now here one more important term you have to understand that I have only one RC circuit and that is why we are getting only one pole. If we have multiple number of RC circuit then multiple number of poles I will be getting that means I am increasing the order of the filter. As your order of the filter increases your slope of the body plot is increasing towards negative side. As slope increases you will be getting a vertical line at near to your cutoff frequency that shows the idealism of this particular graph as this graph shows that minus 20 db per decade this is your first order filter if i increase the order this will become your 40 db per decade 60 db per decade and so on which is tending towards the ideal graph so i want the ideal graph but again i have to compensate with including all the c and r so circuit will become complex so all the consequences i have to learn and with the application we have to go for particular circuit i made a conclusion that with active filters the gain factor is nothing but your maximum gain which is not equal to 1 i know that order of filter which is exactly relating with number of rc circuit so again i will make a conclusion with one particular point that is number of rc circuit decides order of filter now with this note we will end up this session in the next session we will learn high pass filter and second order high pass and low pass filter so stay tuned for that learn more and more edc analog electronics with me obviously for that you have to like share comment and subscribe ikeda channel thank you